Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I saw this cute hairstyle floating around on my Pinterest. Every time I opened up that damn app, this hairstyle was sitting up on there. So I decided to give it a try with these cute cornrows and a simple heart part. Yeah, yeah, it looks simple. It was not very much difficult, but we're gonna talk about that throughout the video. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Sorry for the distraction there. I was having a little dance break to my Tony Braxton. I love me some Tony Braxton. So anyways, I gave y'all the supply list if you was paying attention. I'm using some gel, some daily moisturizing cream, a rat tail comb, and some hair clips. Pretty much simple, you know, there we go. Um, now, I did pull out some braiding hair as well. Yeah, I figured out that I wasn't gonna use it. Uh, but, you know, I had it there just in case. So I'm uh, going in starting with a middle part straight down the middle because I like to make sure my cornrows are gonna be straight and this is the best way for me to make sure i'm doing straight cornrows i go in with my texture id daily a moisturizing cream to add some moisture to my hair we don't want to braid up no dry crusty hair and then i'm going in with the single the little skinny little braids that were in the middle she did two going down the middle um so i'm starting with those first because i figured those were the easiest i can go ahead and get those out of the way and they they were very much easy um so i'm just working that down i'm not this is not a tutorial to show you how to cornrow i'm sorry bestie i will work on that for you later this i was just trying to get this done okay so it's fast forward it's sped up just just stay with me okay because don't even worry about this if you don't know how to cornrow you shouldn't even click on this video this is this is not for you this is, this is for my intermediate hairstylist okay so all right after i get done with one skinny braid i go ahead and start working on the right half of my hair so i'll go ahead and make that part to make the two cornrows because there's only four legit cornrows for this style so it's two on one side and of course two on the other side so i'll go ahead and make that part and now i'm starting to create my heart so I decided that the bottom braid or the braid closest to my ear should have the bottom portion of the hat heart and that next braid will have the top portion of the heart, which is the two humps. So this part was fairly easy. All I did was just make a triangle part, you know, you know, right. Okay. Following me, the two humps. I don't know if it's just because I'm just such a perfectionist and I'm just so hard on myself when it comes to doing my own damn head that it took me a legit 45 minutes to get this right. So first off, I started off way too big. I started make I made the heart way too big. Um, I had to go back and look at the picture, picture and realize that her heart was not as big as mine. But I did good with the first hump. I was like, okay, that looks good. That looks symmetrical. Trying to get the other side to match, yeah oh my gosh look at that look at that awful like my three-year-old could draw better hearts than that now granted i'm doing this on myself and i think that's what made it the most difficult was doing it on myself because i've done this hundreds of times on my girl's hair i do heart parts on them all the freaking time so just trying to get it symmetrical was just and i didn't know an easier way of going about making it symmetrical so you know i think i, I did good here i went ahead and braided it up and i was going to go ahead and continue on braiding and i thought i was like all right this is good this is good but my hair is just so thick that once i started braiding into the first cornrow the cornrow closest to my ear i realized that my heart part was just too big because it was just way too much hair that i was trying to feed into that braid because the heart part braid is going to feed into that corn roll you know Are you following me right so I, I ended up taking it out and trying to make the heart smaller no issue I went ahead and fixed that um and and there we go she looks a lot smaller she's cute and teeny there's a lot of gel in my hair as you can see and I went ahead and braided that up all 
All right, now let's talk about my next mistake. So as I finally got my heart part the way I wanted it to, I started to braid in the corn roll. And of course I'm adding my braiding hair because I assumed that in that picture she used braiding hair. There was no tutorial for that picture. All I'm working off of is just a picture. Luckily there was angles, cause sometimes they don't even give angles on them picture Pinterest pictures okay so I I did it and I was looking at it like this looks way too thick it's thicker than I wanted it to um so I was like you know what let's do the second corn roll to see what our hair looks like without the braiding hair I wanted to see what it was gonna look like without it and if I liked it without the braiding hair I was gonna redo that first corn roll so I'm gelling it down this it's going to require a lot of gel. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that now. Um, make sure you are not on your last when it comes to your gel because you, you're pretty much gonna use a whole jar of gel just to get your hair to lay down. Um, I'm not sure if homegirl had her hair flat ironed. I, I, again, I'm just working off of a picture. So I'm kind of like guesstimating at this. My hair is just blow dried. That's all I did. I didn't I didn't want to, I didn't feel like flat ironing it just to put in some braids. So I'm uh, uh, braiding it down. And as I'm braiding it down, I realized that my hair is the thickness that I wanted it to. Um, so I just went ahead and uh, took out the first braid. So at this point, my scalp is just like, girl, you killing us. Like, we we tired. Like, just make up your mind on what you want to do. My shoulders are burning at this point. I'm tired. Tired. But my heart part looks cute, don't it? You know? So I went ahead and take took it out. Like, I was not joking. I took it out. Like, I will do this 15, 11 times until I get the way I want it to. That's just how difficult I am when it comes to doing my own hair. Then I also realized that she didn't really entirely cornrow straight back. She kind of, like, started near the heart and then, uh, like, kind of curved it down. So, that also bugged me. So, I had, like, my, my shit gonna look just like the picture if I'm gonna do it. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. We, we ain't taking no, no, nah, we, we it got to be perfection is what we are achieving here, ladies and gentlemen. Anything less than you shall run a mile. All right, so this is what she is looking like after I have braided down all four corn rolls. And at this point, I just don't even give a damn if it's crooked, if it's messed up, if it ain't exactly how I want it. I don't even care no more. I'm tired. I'm just ready to get this over with. I went ahead and gelled down my edges and I went in with some pretty strands hair oil for my scapula. And then I'm going in with the BTL foam and this is going to lay down all them flyaways. This is a really good braiding foam. I really like it's for braids and locks and stuff like that. So th I really love this stuff. It's really good stuff. I've tried their gel too. The gel is pretty good. I do like it, but I ended up falling in love with the, the one I'm currently using. Um, but the foam is really good. I love it. Very thick and luxurious. All right. So then it's time to do something with the back. So hers was in a bun and she had like some curls going on. I don't know if those were braided in or not. So I improvised. So I decided to just add a pack of passion twist hair, which is kind of curly. I kind of fluffed it up to make it look, you know, a little used, I guess, you know, and I pinned that sucker down. Now, I did it kind of sloppy here because at this point, like I said, my shoulders was burning. I was tired. I was over it, but I did go back and fix it. All right, y'all. So I wanted to come on here and finish up the video. So this is the completed look. Um, this definitely took me longer than I thought I would. I, I was like, yeah, this is three corn rolls. I should be like able to get this done in like 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the most. Yeah. I spent like three hours on this hair, so <laughs> it was disgustingly um, difficult, like for no reason. So um, I tried to do uh, the hearts. Um, I, I struggled the most with the right side. The left side I did off camera because I was just like so frustrated with recording. I didn't even want to like finish recording, but the left side took like half the time that I took on the right side. I didn't have to like go over it and, and it probably by the time I got to the left side I was kind of like over it anyway so I didn't care how the heart turned out. So um, I think I like it. I, I, I'll probably hold on to it for maybe three four days. I, I don't expect the life of these braids to last long just because of how thick they are so I probably will not keep them in for no more than three maybe four days and then I'll move on to my next style. Um, uh, but thank you guys for joining us on another hair tutorial that I probably made difficult. I don't even, I don't even want to call this a tutorial because I, I didn't show you anything other than how to get frustrated with Pinterest. This is why 
I, I need to stay off of Pinterest. I'll be finding hairstyles on there that I'm like, oh my God, I want to try that out. And I'll be having no business trying them out, okay? Um, I definitely want to try this again. This was definitely just for an aesthetic, okay? Um, I hope my hearts look cute, though. Like, I really was trying to make them damn things work. Um, last I checked, we were almost at 6,000 subscribers, which is awesome, because our goal this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so we can do another big-ass giveaway like we did last year. Um, and I thank you guys who have been subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking our videos. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you come back for more. And we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe, besties.